numbers are staggering. Four out of five Canadians will experience back pain at some point in their lives. The cause, not always obvious. In fact, most of them will never even know precisely what caused it. At the University of Alberta, a professor and his students are working with a machine that might change that. Now, as someone who occasionally gets back pain, I thought I'd check it out for myself. Okay, we're just gonna put this harness on. Okay. So put your right arm through there. All right. So I thought I knew what I was getting into when I headed over to the university to do a story on back pain. But I certainly did not think it would involve a harness. Okay. So what do I need the harness for? Um, it's just a safety system because okay. when we did our <laughs> experiment, we tilted to 15 degrees, which is a pretty big tilt. Okay. Um, and it's just we will attach it to the harnesses up top so that if you fall, you have something there to hold you on. Just when I'm okay with the harness, I'm handed a helmet. Once again, I'm wondering just what have I gotten myself okay. into? Is there a good chance that I'll fall off? Um, how, how strong are you? How, how good is your core? <laughs> does Serena sound just a little bit concerned to you? Because she does to me. The machine I'm about to get on is affectionately known as SpineBot. Although we call this the robot, it's really a flight simulator. So Dr. Greg Kotchuk, a professor in the physical therapy department at the U of A, is using a half million dollar flight simulator to study the spine. If you're wondering how that works, well, you're not alone. The spine is such a complex structure that we just can't rely sometimes on simple motions to understand what it's doing. So with the robot, we're able to test some very complex motions that really replicate what you might see on the job site or in a sport or in maybe an accident situation. With me, the exercise is is quite simple. Just tilt the platform I'm sitting on back and forth in different directions. What you're doing, Rob, up there is fighting gravity. As we tilt you from side to side, we're asking you to remain upright, and that takes a certain amount of muscle strength in your core. So as you're fighting gravity, we're looking at those muscles to see how they're uh, reacting to the challenge we've given you. I do okay, but to do the test properly, I would have to remove my shirt and have electrodes attached to my abdomen. For that, I call in my stunt double, Dan. Dan will go through the same test I did, except the computer is monitoring just how his body responds to the movement. Well, the ultimate goal is to find out what causes back pain. For the most part, unless it's something very obvious, uh, we don't know in most people what's the reason for their complaint. Right now, there are only a few of these machines in North America. They're being used for research and teaching purposes. Treating people with them is still years away. <laughs> to find out more about the machine Dr. Kochuk and his students are working with, just go to our website for the link.